Nowadays, if you want to deploy a front-end web application, you are pretty much spoiled for choice. One quick and easy option is Cloudflare Pages, so let's take a look. Now you can pretty much use any front-end web application or web framework for this particular purpose because fundamentally we only need two things. First, we need a command that is going to take our front-end web app and build it into a compiled asset. Now for this application that I have open over here right now, that command is npm run build. This particular application is a Vite React TypeScript application that we created in a previous lesson, but like I said, that really doesn't matter. Now, after you execute the build command for your application, the second thing that you need to know is the folder that contains the built assets. In our case, that is the dist folder. Now, any old static file server would be able to pick this folder up and start demoing our application. We actually have a static file server just for the demo purposes within this application as well, and we can execute it by running npm run serve, and we can play around with the production application that we will deploy shortly a main application entry point that is a very familiar React page and a very simple separate about page just to demonstrate multiple application entry points. Our hosting provider is essentially going to provide the same features as this npm run serve command. Now the provider that we will be looking at in this lesson is Cloudflare Pages. Now I'm using the free tier and this video is not sponsored by them but I like sharing things that are great for developers. Now on the Cloudflare dashboard you can access the pages on the right hand side. Now once inside, click the create a project button. Now the project that I showed you is actually pushed to GitHub with the name demo wheat and we can see that in the repository selector. So we go ahead and select that and click begin setup. You can select any branch that you want to always be pushed to production. As a demo, we'll select this wheat multi-page branch, which is the one that I pushed the previous code to. And this brings us to the two key options, which is common for front-end web deployments. The first one is the build command that will be used to build our application. In our case, that is npm run build. And the second one is the folder which contains our built assets, which in our case is the dist folder. And that's it. We've completely configured our front-end Vite React TypeScript application in a framework agnostic manner. Just click the save and deploy button and this will take you into the running build. Now this will not take too long, but I'm not gonna make you sit here and wait for the deployment to complete. So I'll speed that up and once it's done, you can see that it's been deployed at a particular URL, which in our case is demovite.pages.dev. And if you visit this URL, you can see that our application is successfully running in production. In addition to the base page, we can also visit the slash about URL to see the about page. Now we could definitely end the lesson over here, but there's one more thing about Cloudflare pages that I want to demonstrate. And that is that it's automatically set up a continuous deployment pipeline for us. Let's take a look. If you go back to the pages section within the Cloudflare dashboard, you will see our new website set up over here. If you click on the header, we get taken into the website to see the various things that have been configured for us. Here you can set up a custom domain name if you're not happy with pages.dev, as well as modify various additional settings. Now a key thing to note over here is this label automatic deployments enabled. This means we can just push commits to the GitHub branch wheat multi-page and they will automatically get deployed to production. Let's take a look at an example. We jump back to our IDE, open up the about page, modify some of the content with some additional text, for example, deployed, state this change with git, add a commit with any message that we want, and then push it straight to GitHub. Now, once this commit is on GitHub, Cloudflare pages will automatically pick it up and kick off a new deployment. And if you jump back to our dashboard on Cloudflare and refresh the page, you can see this new deployment taking place. You can even click on the view build button to see your deployment screen similar to what we saw before. Once more, we will speed it up as we don't want to wait around waiting for this to complete. Once it does complete, however, it is worth pointing out that it actually creates a new URL specific to this particular deployment as well. This means that each commit gets its own deployment, so in case of any issues, you can always circle back and see when that issue occurred or which version to revert to to fix that issue. Right now, after the deployment is complete, if you visit this URL, the application will be exactly the same as what it would be without this particular prefix. And just to demonstrate that this is indeed a different deployment, we can visit the slash about page to see our modified text containing the suffix deployed. 
Now, of course, there's a lot more to Cloudflare pages and I might cover that in the future, but my objective is always to provide the most amount of information as quickly as possible. As you can see, it's pretty easy to get started and you can start deploying your website and sharing your hobby with the rest of the world. And you don't need to set up a continuous delivery pipeline either as you get that for free. If you enjoyed this lesson, then smash that like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.